Welcome to our lecture online and here's the last video for this series. This time it's on what we call the sinking fund. What is the sinking fund? Well, let's say that you want or you are going to need a large amount of money in the future. Let's say you have a, a child, a young child, and you want to save for the next 18 years so by the time your child is ready for college you'll have the funds for college. So let's say you want to save for a college fund and you predict that you're going to need $120,000 18 years from now to pay for college and you know that you can get an interest rate of about 5% on your investment. So what you're going to do is you're going to start making monthly payments and you're going to do that for the next 18 years. You just need to make sure that those monthly payments are large enough so that in 18 years you'll have $120,000 in the bank. Here's the equation on how to do that. The monthly payments must be equal to the rate divided by the number of months per year times the sinking fund amount that you need, $120,000, divided by this quantity, and this looks pretty familiar as we use this in other equations as well. So let's plug in some numbers and see what we get. So this is equal to the rate, which is 0 0.05, divided by 12, times the amount of money that we need, which is 120000 the whole thing divided by uh, the quantity 1 plus the rate, 0 0.05, divided by 12, raised to the m would be 12, time would be 18 years, and then minus 1. All right, let's go ahead and calculate out the amount. So starting from the denominator here, I have 0 0.05 divided by 12 plus 1, that's the quantity in here, raised to the 12 times 18 power, so raised to the uh, 12 times 18, that's 216 power, and then we subtract 1 from that, minus 1. We take the inverse of that by hitting the 1 over x button, and then we multiply it times 0 0.05 divided by 12 and times 120,000. And that means that we have to have monthly payments for the next 18 years going to the bank equivalent to $343 and 64 cents. So if you know that you can have an investment where you can be earning 5% and, uh, oh yeah, I need a period there, not a comma, there we go. And so if you are pretty certain you're going to get a 5% rate of return on your investment, of course not by putting it in the bank and getting interest on your money, but maybe by buying bonds, municipal bonds or something like that, if you then invest $343.64 every month, at the end of 18 years, you'll have $120,000 in the bank ready to pay for college. And that's how we do that.